So it's finally arrived. It's the Nintendo Switch Dock by Gully Kit. What we have here is our replacement Switch Dock. It's the official Nintendo Switch Dock. And it looks something like this, as I'm sure we're all aware. So we'll put that to one side. And then we've got this one, which is the Gully Kit Switch Dock. It's of course an unofficial dock and it comes like this. You get all the screws that you need to, um, to fix this and also the required screwdriver. This is the actual dock itself. This is the size of it. What you will need to do is remove the component from the actual switch dock. Remove this ribbon cable and attach the component in and reattach the ribbon cable and you'll have an unofficial mini switch dock. That is official. <laughs> and this is really cool actually. Um, this is like um, a magnetic lid so you can secure it. But on the other side, because when you rest the switch on, it's obviously not gonna have enough support. So what they've designed is, although it's a magnetic lid, you can actually clip it on the top so it will give the switch more support at the back. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so let's take this Nintendo Switch dock apart. What you need to do is get the Y-type screwdriver from the Gully Kit Switch dock set, which looks something like this. I don't know if it's gonna focus, there it is. Okay, and there's eight screws at the back of this Nintendo Switch dock that you need to remove, which are located in these positions. Okay, now that we have all the screws removed, let's move that to one side for a moment and let's take this apart and see what it looks like underneath. I think you can just lift it up from down here and up there, and there we go, simple as that. There's the back of the switch dock removed. And this is the only thing that you need to run an official switch dock, which is this component here. And this is what we're gonna put inside the gully kit. This is the component. And what you'll need to do is two simple steps. You need to unlatch this, which holds the ribbon cable in place. Be very gentle and be very careful. Um, then the next step is to actually remove the ribbon cable. You simply have to just pull on it and it should just come off quite easily. And then that's what you need to remove. On this side, there are two clips, literally right here and here. You just need to pull the clips back and you should be able to lift this component up and there we go but be careful because there's also one more step you need to remove which is the black and white uh, black and red cable that's located on the back like so and this is the only thing that you need for an official switch dock so here comes the simple part in putting this component into the gully kit okay it's very straightforward all you need to do is um, take this ribbon cable and you take it, well, let's put this down for a moment. So you take this ribbon cable, it's neatly tucked in there, and you simply have to attach it uh, like so. Push that back in. And then you just close it. Once it's secure, you can close it. Okay, so from the way this is designed, of course the ribbon cable comes in like this, and the port on this dock is actually on the sides, and it doesn't really match up. So you do need to gently just maneuver the ribbon cable so that you can place this down like so. And there are grooves for the component to sit in so it will sit very nicely and you can line it up in terms of the ports and once you get the ports lined up yes the ribbon cable is still sat up like this but it can bend so it's not that bad um, there are there are six screws that you need to put back in 
and you'll need to get the bottom of this which is the bottom piece of this dock and the six screws come in here which is how I take down nicely um, you can simply place this down and actually screw this back in so I believe it should be like this so all you need to do is put the six screws in and then you're done there's one final step which is there is a anti-slip that you can apply to the base of this dock it fits nicely it comes within its uh, set um, and there is actually a cutout template I'm not sure if you can see a cutout template of where this goes so once you've tested the dock I would say you can apply this and then it will cover up the, uh, the holes for the screws and that's it a gully kit dock installed in five minutes okay this is the moment we've all been waiting for we're going to try the gully kit Nintendo Switch dock out um, it's all assembled now it's put together before I do that I should just add there are three ports on the back the only three ports that this has is the power USB and HDMI port we're going to snap off the lid and pop it on top with the magnetic uh, connection. Um, you can see the switch is working with its original dock. I'm going to take out the Nintendo Switch, remove the power cable and HDMI cable from the dock. We'll set this aside as we don't need it. Um, and we'll plug in the power cable, followed by the HDMI cable on the gully kit. And this is the part that we've all been waiting for to check to see if the gully kit actually works. I assume it would work because it's the original component um, but as I plug it in will it switch on? Yes it will! It's working as it should and that is just fantastic. Now you can take this around and actually have a portable yet safe Nintendo Switch dock that you can rely on.